cubes. I feel like the way you do the cheese makes a big difference. You do like tiny squares like this. They melt up well with this thing. This size. Do the test there. You have a good angle? You're, you're mm -hmm. Gotta be careful because if it doesn't cook quickly enough, it'll drip off this oh, area. So it's just really to keep it a little evenly spread and do it slowly. You can come back around later to see how this is about right. to drip out right now. Oh, we're gonna make it hotter. No, it just has to take a little, uh, I'll actually lean it like this so it like solidifies up faster. Oh, it came with a bottom plate. And I didn't know yeah, what it was for. No, I have to bring it over. That's a catcher, but I don't want it yeah. to drip off oh, at all. We don't need it anyway. The idea is that it doesn't drip off for me. And even after it solids up, you could just go over it a little. It doesn't matter. Check this angle out. See, like this. Cool. I also realized that when you close it, it could also drip off. See, look, this is getting close. I don't yeah. know if it's gonna make it off. No. Almost did, almost did. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As it cooks, it won't drip. Okay, lean it like this a little bit. You can close it when there it gets a little more solid. Right. i just leave it like this for now. Cooks really quickly, too. Yeah, this is better than pan. This is so much better and so much easier. See, now when I close it, it's gonna squeeze it off of this end. You see, yeah. <clears throat> so, what I do is I do it super as soon as I hear anything, I just slow down. Actually don't even let it squish all the way. Whoa! See? Let me get the spray more in the top. Basically, not going to drip off. Cool. It's not. Wow. And then watch this part. This is what I kept trying to show you on camera last time, but it wasn't working. Whoa! Because I couldn't get the film on it. have it. You know how good that's going to be.